Time travel is the concept of moving between different points in time, usually with an invention called the time machine. The science is loosely based in theoretical physics, with quantum mechanics and wormholes as common themes. These following titles either focus on the concepts of time travel or include time travel, often involving a person in a strange world. So stick with us to know best manga where the MC goes back in time, either to save his life or to redo what he did. Enjoy! Number 1. Tsuyuko Tenyu Saga the Demon King led his army of demons to wipe out the human race. The hero, Kale, and his allies attacked his castle to defeat him. The Demon King is slain, but at what cost? Kale lost all of his allies throughout the war. Friends, family, lovers, comrades, all dead. And he's dying. As Kyle's life ebbs away in the Demon King's chamber, he notices a strange gem that the Demon King had crafted and approaches this relic to grab it. After an intense light glows, he is sent years into the past. After recovering from the initial shock, now in his younger body, he decides to avoid making the same mistakes of his first time through these years and to become stronger. Number 2. Saiki Mata Shetomo Saiki Kuzushiro is an ordinary high school student who's just going through the motion. His closest friend is Mikan Karatashi, who is known since they were little kids, and the two have had some fond memories together. Tragically, Mikan gets hit by a drunk driver after the two remains at Mogura Pond, and if that weren't enough, Saiki falls into the pond and drowns, but wakes up in his bed 7 am on the day of Mikan's tragic death, figuring out that he can turn back time by diving into Mugura Pond. Saiki figures out a way to rescue his childhood friend from a fatal end, but that's only the beginning of his strange new life as someone with a honest to god superpower. Number 3 all you need is kill. Personally, this is my favorite one. Hear this out. There is one thing worse than dying. It's coming back to do it again and again. When the alien Jetai invade, Kiria is just one of many raw recruits shoved into a suit of battle armor and sent out to kill. Kiria dies on the battlefield only to find himself reborn each morning to fight and die again and again. On the 158th interaction though, he sees something different, something out of place. The female soldier known as the bitch of war. Is the bitch the key to Kiji's escape or to his final death? This reminds me of the Hollywood movie Age of Tomorrow. The two have the same story, so check them out. I'm a villager, what about it? Ryuchu was reincarnated into another world as Maclin, the most appropriate occupation for his statues after reincarnation was a villager. Even his house was just of a normal farmer and obviously poor. In this world where goblins and dragons exist, there was a lot of stories about adventures and mages. However, here the occupation of a person is greatly reflected in their statues. Ryuchu could not really expect to be overpowered. This is a story about Ryuchu becoming the strongest, despite being a villager. It's kinda hard to follow what's going on and what the MC's current statue and abilities are. They seem to drop a lot of his god this powerful ability, skill, conditions, but then only ever use it once. Number 5. Tales of Demons and Gods Killed by a sage emperor and reborn as he's 13 years old, Neely was given a second chance at life, a second chance to change everything, save his loved ones and his beloved city. He shall once again battle with the sage emperor to avenge his death. With the vast knowledge he accumulated in his previous life, he shall have a new starting point. Although he started as the weakest, 
Without doubt, he will climb the steps towards the strongest. Cultivating the strongest cultivations technique, wielding the strongest demon spirits, he shall reach the pinnacle of martial arts. In my tears of the past will be settled in this new lifetime. Since I'm back, then in this lifetime shall become the king of gods that dominates everything. Let everything else tremble beneath my feet. Number six, the mage will master magic efficiently in his second life. Zef Einstein spent his whole life mastering red magic and was finally recognized for it. Yet a new spell that was soon created revealed that his talent for red magic was his lowest. Peter at the thought of all his wasted efforts. He creates a spell to spend his old self back in time to his younger body and together with the determined genius mage Melly and the handsome swordsman Claude. He intends to master magic more efficiently this time. Number 7. Sayonara Ryusai, Konnichiwa Jinsai The oldest and strongest dragon who grew tired of living chose to die when the heroes came for his life. When the dragon's soul was waiting to drift towards the sea of souls, that was when it noticed it had been reborn into a human baby. The dragon then decides to live a life as a human to the fullest and regained his will to live. The dragon was born as the child of a farmer and lives his life in the frontier possessing enormous amounts of power due to his soul being a dragon's. He then encountered the demon of the Lamia race, fairies, black rose and later entered the magic academy. The man whose soul is of a dragon lives his life in joy going to magic academy, spending time with an old friend, the earth goddess, meets beautiful girls, strong classmates, the dragon king and the queen of vampires. Number 8. The Ordinary Soldier Dream to Return to the Past It details the life of a mid-rank soldier who died at the very end of the war against the demon race. Fortunately for him, he wakes up to find that he is a baby again in the embrace of his real mother years in the past. Determined to avoid the chain of tragedies that took his beloved ones away from him, he takes advantage of the advancements in swordsmanship and magic that developed during the war. As we all know, war are when many scientific breakthroughs tend to happen and tries his best to prepare for the demon invasion as well as strengthen himself with maximum efficiency. Number 9. Again. Imamura reluctantly wakes up one day to attend his high school graduation. He'd made no friends in high school and joined no clubs. Everyone was afraid of him due to his long blonde hair and surly attitude. Reflecting on his awful high school years, he remembers a girl from the Japanese cheering squad that he saw in the welcome ceremony three years ago. Searching for the old cheering squad's club room, he accidentally startles the classmates, causing them both to fall down a flight of stairs. When he wakes up, it's the morning of his first day of high school, three years ago, as he confusedly goes throughout his day. He's able to correct a lot of mistakes he made the first time around, such as actually interacting with the cheering squad girl, Usame Ishiku. But did he really travel in time, or is this all just a dream he's having while his body is lying unconscious somewhere? Could he really have the chance to go throughout his high school years again? Number 10. The Neighborhood of Past on his way back from a business trip, the protagonist decides on whim to take a train back to his old hometown. The moment he pays respects to his mother's grave in the transformed town, he is transported back to a summer when he was still a junior high school. Only with all his middle-aged consciousness, knowledge and abilities intact. On this journey across time, he understands for the first time the burdens borne by his father and his mother's tears. This is the kind of fantasy manga we're made for, executed by an artist of great talent. 
This is a serious, delicate, and ultimately moving time travel variation. So this was everything for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like. Leave us a comment with your suggestions. And if you are not following the channel yet, do it now. Bye-bye.